it's one will give you six and so there's a number which is the sum of its factors its main factors i think it's a perfect number hey, uh, mm, i was just going back to you are smart but no, no 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 this is old <laughs> mathematics but, notes but i want to test you no 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 please don't hey, do that no no i want to test you and so then much. there's also prime numbers you know a prime number a number that can be divided by only one in itself for seven. example seven i want to test you no, 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 that, that no, since, I'm, I'm since, since this morning you are feeling <laughs> super. Smart. I'm feeling mathematical. <laughs> what, what, what are the lyrics of this song? What is this? Ah, uh, this song, this song is about fan eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because this song they play when they are. Doing is it fanatic. God is love or what is love or what? What is it? What is love? Play it again. <laughs> what is love, baby? Don't hurt me. What is love, baby? Don't hurt me. Uh. What is love, right? <laughs> but but is this love. song is done song before. It's, it used to be a sick tune for a lot of uh, you know. It, it, whenever this song plays, right? Yeah, I start running commentary in my head. ATF, where Machiba City FM, Kase Fudi, Senano Peak, Sports, and some other. You have the bomb of tougher, tougher, tougher. Best start to a liberty professionals. Ah, it's a Kumasi thing. It's a national thing. It's not a Kumasi thing. It's a national thing. Okay. Any idea of song four? It's an interactive show, it's fun, but it's also serious. It can give you laughter, it can also bring tears. Send us your thoughts 0549986996. Lots of things coming up on the show today. Some ambulance service staff reached out. They say they have so many issues they want to talk about. Mm. And then we have an exclusive interview with a Ghanaian who's one of the highest ranking officials in the global vaccine conversation. She's wow. based in Geneva. She's speaking to us about how to access vaccines. It's going to be exciting. This review brought to us by Total Petroleum PLC. Three awards within the last few months. Brand of the year, marketing campaign of the year, lubricant product of the year. Dedicating these awards to our vibrant customers for your unwavering trust to the total brand. And of course, service station staff, your hard work earned us these awards in the first place. Thank you for making us number one. Total, committed to better energy. Now is the best time to get your Fidelity debit card. If you sign up for one between now and the middle of this month, you deliver the card for free. You could also win a thousand Ghana CDs when you use your new bank card for at least three payment transactions. There's also an iPhone 12 app for grabs. So whether you buy fuel, shop online or in-store, use your Fidelity debit card no for payments. For more information, call 3355. So I have Godfrey Akutubwa. Godfrey, good morning again. Good morning, Bernard. And I must say, I have four questions as well. Okay. How do you take your tea? With milk, sugar, what is your favorite brand and why don't you like biscuits? Rojo <laughs> <laughs> Metilnunu. Hey! I put it to you that when you were waiting for the electoral commission chair, you sat at the reception and you were giving tea and biscuits. My, my lot, they gave me tea, tea. but they didn't <laughs> add biscuits. But the tea, you know, based on your ge- geographical area, tea cannot be tea you, because there is Milo tea, no, there no, is tea tea, no, there is no, coffee tea. It was tea. It was, it was proper tea. Hey, there's coffee tea. <laughs> it, was, it was tea. Anyway, so that was vetting. It wasn't vetting. What was it called? No, Cross no, 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 Cross examination yeah, yesterday. Cross examination people is yeah. vetting. Oh, Ro- Ro- Rojo has given us the most fun. Front page of the Daily Graphic, Bernard. Mm. Election petition. Jane Mensah, McMahon won't testify. Mm. Respondents councils tell court. But bigger stories also in the on the front page, Bernard. COVID. No need to fear COVID-19 vaccines that cost a boy. Mm. Man hunts for two policemen over robbery. Oh. Well, let me give you the chronicle because their bigger story is a police story. Police mm. arrest police over robbery of $209,000 gold cash. Red-eyed IGP confirms stories. Story and promises full investigations. My lord, we won't call Jean Mensah into the box. This is a maneuver. And EC sucked me from strong room. Rojo. Front page of the Daily Statesman. 27 COVID-19 deaths recorded in Western region in two weeks. Our witnesses won't testify. EC Akufuadu tells Supreme Court. UK COVID-19 variants. Ghanaians advised to adhere to safety protocols. Now the Ghanaian Times. COVID-19 update. Death toll jumps to 464. 765 new. 71,533 confirmed. And 6,411 active cases. Please embark on another nationwide disinfection exercise. 
appointments committee starts vetting ministers designate tomorrow and Supreme Court to rule on EC chairs cross examination today. Mm. And finally, from me, Bernard, front page of the BNFT. Economic challenges keep cost of borrowing high. Analysts say no chance of cheap lending soon. Special court to prosecute tax offenders expeditiously. Also on the front page of the paper. And there's a feature here titled Vaccine Nationalism and My Citizenry First, please. Hmm. Now, the finder acts on the front page. Is today the end of the road for courtroom action by the lawyers? That's a big question on the front page of the finder. Godfrey Yabu Adame, Ghana's youngest attorney general designate with an impressive track record. There's an article in there you need to read. Election petition, Supreme Court cautions lawyers. And we are not convinced petitioner provided any evidence in court. This is upon Chroma. And Ghana's active COVID-19 cases rise to 6,411 with 464 deaths. Now, if you go to the new crusading guide, EC, Ekufado lawyers dribble tattoo as they prevent their witnesses from testifying in court. Supreme Court warns lawyers, please begin nationwide disinfection exercise, kickstarts in our origin, and NPP in a silent war over Ekufado's successor. Let's move to citynewsroom.com. Lots of stories this morning. Uh, first one, Jimensa is evading cross-examination because it will expose irregularities in the polls. This is Dominica Yine. Also, Chief Justice chides Mahama and Akufuado lawyers for twisted media comments. In other stories, Mrs. and Louis JHS girls were with their boyfriends. Meanwhile, U.S. Embassy in Ghana postponed scheduled visa appointments over COVID-19. Uh, other stories, nomadic headsmen at Assise, so flee town after death of ambulance driver. Meanwhile, ambulance service CEO calls for security escorts following Eastern Region ambulance attack. Now, if you go to majoronline.com, bleed story, EC running away from cross-examination, Chachu alleges. Also, EC sacked me from strong room, Rojo Metal Nunu. And 37 more COVID-19 cases recorded at Akosombo International School. Star... News, Georgia Chiefs beg Akufuado to reappoint Kofi Jameshi. Also, uh, I was sacked from EC Strong Room. Meanwhile, there's another one here. Jean Mensa served me tea, but no biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you meant to do. Uh, if you go to citybusinessnews.com, uh, Tourism Authority commences enforcement of COVID regulations. We also told CB depreciation and taxes for quadruple domestic fuel prices for the next pricing window. Um, if you go to GNA, the story is saying petitioner respondent close case in 2020 election petition trial. Ghana's active cases rise to 6,411 with death toll now 464. And CNN is talking about deal reached on Trump impeachment trial rules. Mm. Uh, so we're told there's going to be a rapid <coughs> Trump impeachment trial. That's what the BBC also leads with. Meanwhile, police clamp down. As Myanmar protesters defy ban, keep an eye on Burma because it's boiling. Let's start with the new, new the daily graphic of it. Yeah, better court or COVID. Mm. Uh, I think the court is big today. Okay. Yeah. Election petition. Jim Mensah McMinnu won't testify. Respondent tells, uh, respondents counsels tell court. Mm. The chairperson of the electoral commission, Mrs. Jean Adukwe Mensah, does not intend to give any evidence in the 2020 election petition. Lawyers for the EC have indicated to the Supreme Court. Mrs. Mensah, the only expected witness for the EC, the first respondent in the petition, has already filed a witness statement, and many people were eagerly awaiting a cross-examination by Mr. Chachichikata, the lawyer for the petitioner, former President John Dramani Mahama. Lead counsel for the EC, Mr. Justin Amenuvo, however, told the Supreme Court yesterday that the EC did not intend to call any witness to adduce any evidence in support of his defense against the petition. That was after former President Mahama, the presidential candidate of the National Democratic Congress in election 20, had brought his case to a close following the cross-examination of his third and last witness, Mr. Robert Joseph Metonunu. Now, the Chronicles angle says Mr. Robert Joseph Metonunu, a.k.a. Rojo, third witness for the petitioner in the ongoing 2020 presidential election petition hearing, told the court yesterday that he was sacked from the National Coalition Center, also known as the Strong Room, by the first respondent, the Electoral Commissioner. This, he said, <clears throat> this, he said, had never happened before since he started to represent presidential candidates of his party. He claimed he had always stayed in the strong room for 72 hours. Now, mm -hmm. um, during proceedings in the court on Monday, February 8, 2021, one of the seven judges hearing the petition cautioned Mr. Uh, Metonunu to remember the forum he was 
on and mind how he talks. According to the bench, the witness was talking more than expected of him. And then the issue of tea is also captured. Now, a couple of record. reactions here. One of the, the chief justice is not happy with the lawyers. Now, chief justice oh. tries Muhammad and Akufado lawyers for, quote, twisted, unquote, media comments. Chief Justice Kwesi Eninyebo has again cautioned legal counsel in the election petition to be circumspect in their media comments. At the end of the hearing on Monday, he said some of the lawyers involved in the case keep on twisting the facts which actually occurred in court and seek to even prejudice whatever the court proceedings were. The Chief Justice further drew the attention to a section from Regulation 55 of the Legal Profession Etiquette, Conduct and Etiquette Rules, which he expects lawyers to abide by. And then let me just quote what he said. A lawyer shall not publish or cause to be published material concerning current or potential cases, including proceedings for which a lawyer is engaged or seeks to be engaged, which is inaccurate or received comment or necessary description is calculated or is likely to a material degree to diminish or be prejudicious to the public confidence and administration of justice, he said. Now, a few more stories from this. Uh, Dominic Aini says, the Mensa is evading cross-examination because it will expose irregularities in the polls. Still on citynewsroom.com. A member of the legal team for uh, the petitioner says the Electoral Commission Chair is trying to evade cross-examination because it will bring to light irregularities in the general elections. And then we know the background already. He was speaking on um, Eyewitness News yesterday. Okay, Bernard, let's go to COVID now. Mm. And the finder has an update. Ghana's active COVID-19 cases rise to 6,411, hmm. with 464 people dying as a result. Hmm. Now, the story says Ghana's COVID-19 active cases uh, on Monday hit 6,411, following the confirmation of 765 new infections across the country. Hmm. This comes barely 24 hours after the country's health management body announced 722 new cases on Sunday. Now, additionally, seven more persons have succumbed to the virus, raising the death toll to 464 from a previous mm. 457. The latest update from the Ghana Health Service disclosed the figures. Now, the new infections, the GHS said, are from tests conducted as at February 4, 2021. The latest update further disclosed that nearly 700 more people have also recovered, bringing the total uh, clinical recoveries and discharges to 64,658. Currently... Mm. 112 of the active cases, it said, were severe, with 32 in critical condition. These cases are being managed in treatment sites and isolation centers across the country, while some were under home management, the Ghana Health Service said. Ghana has so far recorded a total of 71,533 cases of the mm. virus since it confirmed its first two cases in March 2020. Let me take you to page 26 of the Daily Graphic. It has a lot of COVID stories today, but now just give me a bit of time. Mm -hmm. Post-COVID-19 complications can be dire, fatal. Dr. Oliver Komi. Mm -hmm. Recovered patients require attention. Direct Inc. Director of the Ghana Infectious Disease Center, Dr. Joseph Ajete Oliver Komi, has called for post-corona virus disease clinics to be established to help manage the disease's impact on patients who have recovered from it. He said post-COVID-19 complications could be dire and fatal. Hence, the need for such clinics at patients, for patients with lingering symptoms until they were deemed to be free to an appreciable extent from any complications. Now, <coughs> he cited uh, scars in the lungs and uh, difficulty breathing mm -hmm. as some of the complications. Now, if you go to page 23 of the same paper, traders in Kumasi disregard COVID-19 safety protocols. In spite of the surge in COVID-19 cases in the country, there's total disregard for the safety protocols and that's for markets in the Kumasi metropolis. Mm -hmm. Both buyers and traders are seen going about their business without wearing face masks and the use of rental buckets for hand washing are also absent. While the city authorities are concentrating on checking non-compliance with the safety protocols on the streets, the police who are expected to check and ensure that citizens abide by the safety protocols are not seen to be doing so. Hmm. Now a trader who wants to remain anonymous told the Daily Graphic that the persistent talks and write-ups on adherence to the safety protocols on COVID-19 amounted to creating fear and panic among the populace saying the government must stop it. Hmm. And then... If There's a lot, too. There's even one here that says, um, Takradi Vet Lab Supervisor warns of potential COVID-19 transmission through ICE. Hey, <laughs> then the U.S. Embassy has stopped uh, visa engagement because of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Then we are told that the Akosomo uh, International School has recorded about 37 more cases. So let me just give you quick headlines here. Takradi, Supervisor for Vet Labs, Dr. Simon Bene, wants more attention to be given to the ice as a source of coronavirus transmission. Now, although the ice rarely mentioned 
in human coronavirus infection. Dr. Bennett OCT News, his study shows that the eye is a very important route that we should look at. Then the U.S. Embassy has said that it will postpone scheduled visa appointments because of COVID-19. The embassy made this known in a public notice posted on his Twitter handle yesterday. He says the ongoing pandemic has compelled the postponement of some scheduled visa appointments. Then if you go to Akosomo International School, Eastern Region, 37 more COVID-19 cases have been recorded at the school. Uh, the director of National Schools in Petro Division has disclosed this story on myjournal.com. Dr. Hildan Pedu told MFRP on the probe on Sunday that it is encouraging to say that Ghana Health Service Regional Health Directorate and the Municipal Health Directorate are on top of the issues. Now, on February 4, 40 students of the school tested positive out of 500 samples that were taken. Now, we are told another 37 had also tested positive. And finally, for me, page 4 of the Daily States, 27 COVID-19 deaths recorded in Western Region in the last two weeks. Hey. Yeah. So, the Western, uh, Dr. Anna Nefren-Pong, who is the regional president of the Ghana Medical Association, is asking for stricter enforcement of the protocols in the region. Mm. Now, let's go to the Chronicle, the big story for the Chronicle today. Please arrest police over robbery of $209,000 gold cash. Hey. Now, John Bediako writes that the police in Accra have arrested a service driver whose assigned vehicle was reportedly used to commit robbery. Mm. Two occupants of the said service vehicle with registration number GP3513 reportedly attacked and robbed a Burkinabe national of $209,000, mm. being proceeds from a gold business on Sunday, mm. February 7, 2021. Reports gathered by the Chronicle indicate that one Suleimana Sodri, the Burkinabe national, went to lodge at the classic guest house at La Paz, the suburb of Accra. Mm. On the Sunday at about 1 p.m., he went to sell his three kilograms of gold to Alaji Abdul for $209,000. Hmm. On his way back to the guest house, the occupants of the police service vehicle accosted and robbed him of the amount and sped off to an unknown destination. A report was subsequently made to the police at Tesano, also a suburb of Accra, for action. The Accra Regional and National Headquarters located the vehicle and unit assigned, leading to the arrest of the official driver. Hey. The IGP, Mr. James Opon Buono, confirming the arrest to the Chronicle, stated that investigations were ongoing to apprehend the policemen who were allegedly involved. And according to the IGP, the suspects are going to help investigators to establish if there are accomplices who must be arrested. They are staying, with, mm, staying with crime, Ben, I know the back page of the Daily Graphic. Mm -hmm. Robbers raid filling station, kill private security guard. Oh, Lord. Three suspected robbers attacked the filling station at a strong man yesterday dawn and allegedly killed a private security man on duty. The suspected robbers locked up two female attendants in one of the offices at the Shawman Pure Water Girl filling station after stealing an amount of 2,000 Ghana cities. Meanwhile, the ambulance service CEO is calling for security escort following the Eastern Region ambulance attack. The story is on citynewsroom.com. It says, Professor Ahmed Zakaria, the CEO of the Ghana Ambulance Service, is suggesting ambulances be immediately given security escort following the fatal robbery attack on one of its ambulance units at Asesesu in the Eastern Region. Now, he told the City Breakfast Show that the calls for security are not far-fetched given the circumstances. Now, still on that story, nomadic headsmen at Assisi so flee town after death of ambulance driver. The Ghana Police Service has begun investigations into the robbery incident that led to the death of an ambulance driver with the Somania branch of the country's ambulance service, Abraham Tete. No arrest has been made despite the deployment of police to the area. The police report that nomadic headsmen in the area where the ambulance was attacked have deserted their homes and also left their cattle. So that's the story there on the ambulance service. Let's move to other issues, guys. There's so much happening. Oh, online. yes, there's a lot. Galamse, Galamse, mm. Galamse. Mm. Page 16 of the Daily Graphic. Galamse activities in Western North worrying. Forestry Commission. Mm. The Western North Regional Office of the Forestry Commission has expressed concern mm. over the resurgence of illegal mining activities in the area. Did it go away? Mm. It said the activities of the illegal miners were not only destroying water bodies, but also forests, cocoa, palm, and rubber plantations in both the Western and North in both the Western North and the Western region. Hmm. They blamed some chiefs in the region whom they claimed were conniving with the illegal miners in their activities. Quote, the way the illegal miners generally go into the forest reserves and indication they do so with some kind of permission. It will be difficult for settlers or businesses to enter into a forest reserve within a traditional area and cause such irreparable damage to the forest and go scot-free unless the host community allows it to happen. And they go on to list uh, certain plantations that are struggling. So for instance, According to Mr. Thomas Ochre, mm -hmm. who is the head of the Forestry Commission in the Western North region, 
He said the miners usually deployed excavators hmm. uh, and polluted water bodies and also diverted waterways. Charlie. And they have also destroyed portions of the Ghana rubber estate and the Benso oil palm plantation in the Hunter West district. There had also been a massive invasion of the reserve of a mining company, Kwanentri Mining, hmm. which had been given a license to operate. This is so disappointing. Yeah. Oh, think that that we are Charlie. talking about lack of water. We've made so much noise and the government is just paying lip service. Yep. Absolutely disappointing. Now, the two girls have been found. And the girls, Last the, the story is from Kumasi. You know, yesterday we said they were missing. two young ladies from St. Louis Senior High School uh, had disappeared. St. Louis Junior High School. Yes, yes. Now, the story we are told from multiple sources is that they have been found and that they were actually chilling with their boyfriends. Let me read the Star FM version of the story. It says that Mrs. St. Louis GHS students found with their boyfriends. And the story says the two female students <laughs> of St. Louis Junior High who were reported missing have been found with their boyfriends. They were found at Tafu, a place you know very well, in Kumasi, by the police. After a search party was commissioned on Sunday following a report uh, by their parents, their alleged boyfriends had absconded by the time the police reached the hideout following a tip-off by a neighbor. <laughs> Why have they absconded? The, they are doing the right thing. The students are currently with the police <laughs> undergoing interrogation. The teenage girls claimed they were kidnapped on their way home after school on Friday. Now, they claimed after close of school on Friday, they picked a taxi to transport them to Bremen UGC, where they live with their parents. Upon reaching Siam in the evening, the taxi driver, according to their original story, diverted from the main route and took the girls to Siam Magazine, an area they were not familiar with. One of the girls who managed to call her brother with the phone of one of the suspects who had dropped it in the room where they were keeping the victim said, quote, we are 10 people in the room. The boys and their bodyguards are sleeping with us. One of the girls who earlier called her father with her own phone has been stabbed with a knife. So this was the original story they put out. Then the Asante Regional Police Command Went to then were issued to do a search with the police team, with the, the, the parents of the victim, of victims, alleged victims. The Asante Regional Police Command has been informed of a development for extra men to be deployed to rescue the girls, which led to the tip off and then eventually the finding of them <laughs> so this is the story so far we don't know if after the 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 conversation with the police and parents more information will come out but we are happy they've been found yeah. at least the police have said to us in fact a city news story the parents were delighted that they found them at least for now in fact the police right. issued a statement if you go to citynewsroom.com it's a five six paragraph statement and it basically just explains the whole thing. Central yeah. Police Command informed the general public to disregard a case of an alleged kidnapping of two St. Louis students. Then they give all the background with all the timelines, talking about the different things that were said. I think the police have done a great job. Yeah, we should commend them really for really this. Well. You know, when they say the a Ghanaian parent is delighted, it means that children are in tears at home. The lashing that is happening. No, this one you can't lash. Away. Some of these things you are relieved after the relief, then you lash. You have a long conversation because you see the, you, whatever led them to do that is not it's not a beating matter. Bernard, <laughs> Bernard, the long conversations know. we have it at our levels. Anyway, I don't know what led them to do that. It's so maybe they, they are getting to there. They will have the long conversation at dawn. And after the conversation, oh. the father will ask, in CC, I'm in your day. I'm in your day. No, 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 no. I don't think that's the point. The last thing, you know, it is at our level. We do, we, hey, the talk, we do talk, you know. Uh, anyway, we'll see. Anyway, let me take you to But they're looking for the boys. <laughs> we'll the, the, the boys. So the paragraph five, the girls are assisting the police to trace and arrest the boys to assist in investigations. And then the Asante Regional Police would like to thank the general police for their cooperation. And I think the neighbor who did the report, yes. because I think this was in the news, so people actually heard it. Ah, in Bana is your own no more. Charlie, if me, I lost me, I won't do long talk on this one. They'll be lashing. You'll be the, you <laughs> lash. <laughs> <laughs> now, their boyfriends are called Clement Coleman and Nana Kwame. Atafo Ahum, Ahim, Ahim Brunum. Clement Coleman and Nana Kwame. Atafo Ahim Brunum. They should lash them. And they've been staying there since Friday. Hey! Salome, papa, papa. <laughs> 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 but these are JHS girls. There's a lot of issues in this. Yes, place. exactly. The dynamics are At big. JHS, oh. plenty. <laughs> why? See, so why would why they, they are afraid to go home with their boyfriends? Yes. Basically, just tell their parents that they are in some kind of relationship yes. is a problem. But then again, it's also the social cultural context, Bernard. Yes. You, a 15 year old in our society cannot show up at home, uh, in a regular home, and say, "Ah, daddy, this is my boyfriend." At 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's too young. The two of you will get lashes that day. Mm -hmm. 
So they decide to cook up this uh, yeah, but I mean this, it's, this it's, story. It's, it's such it's such it's so bad because then if somebody is actually kidnapped, then people will think yeah, yeah, so this, this story they, they really they need to be talked to properly and, because and, and the really way serious. they manage to cook up the story. Yes, I want to assume their relationships have not been something which just started. Yeah. Maybe they've 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 been and the NJ just threw BC or win him. Anyway, center spread of the Ghanaian Times. Appointment committee starts vetting ministers designate tomorrow. Mm -hmm. There is Mr. Kokoa Jimamoyne's picture. Mm -hmm. Health, Ambrose Dairy Interior, Kanaba, mm. National Security, Yaosei mm. Duchum, Education, Yaosei Chairman Sabonsi, Parliamentary Affairs, and Dominic Nitiwo, Minister of Defense. And the vetting begins tomorrow. All right, thank you, uh, Godfrey. Let me take you international quickly. Yeah. Donald Trump will be in, uh, tried in a <laughs> rapid fire manner. <laughs> this is uh, BBC Trump impeachment Senate paves way for speedy trial of ex president. Now, the second impeachment trial of Donald Trump begins today, which is Tuesday, as Senate leaders agreed a rapid timetable. The former president is charged with quote inciting insurrection in a speech to supporters ahead of the deadly riots at the U.S. Capitol on Sith. January. Democrats say they have overwhelming evidence of his guilt, while his defense team claim rioters acted independently. The defense called the trial absurd and unconstitutional as its legality and its legality of and its legality of it will be a focus on Tuesday. Mr. Trump is the only US president in history to have been impeached twice and only one of three to have been impeached at all. Now if convicted, he could be barred from holding office again, but a two thirds of the one hundred seat Senate is required to convict. Democrats have 50 seats, and there's little sign enough Republicans will join them. Right. So and it's not only Ghana. And quickly, since today you have a conversation on vaccines. Yes. On page 9, Western governments back AstraZeneca vaccine as South Africa holds rollout. So Western governments rushed to offer support for the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccination after South Africa halted its rollout when research showed it offered minimal protection against mild infection from a variant spreading there. So South Africa says, no, wait, Western governments are saying it works. Hmm. Charlie, this this two girls matter. <laughs> Somebody said what? Somebody said if these girls are in JSS, then it's statutory rape. It means they are minors. So even because if I want to know the boys, know their age. The boys are in trouble. Yeah. We have to find them. Yes. Thank you, Godfrey. Thank you, Kojo. This is the city.